Today we are joined in one of Night City's most famous locations, the Afterlife. Fantastic nightclub, place to get pissed, place to meet up with criminal connections, establish new relationships, get some strippers on the go, stare blindly into a vat of something. And a lot of people always speculate that the afterlife has something hidden. You know that there's there's more to it because there are a few locked doors. But today what we're going to be doing is having a look at the afterlife from a different perspective. But as always, before we get into today's video, if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, then please do feel free to drop the channel a cheeky little subscribe, help show your support and maybe even help fund my Windows license. All right, so to start off this video, what we're going to be doing is having Having a look at the closed off staircase, which you can see right about here. To hell with it, let's clip behind and see what we got on the go. Well, for a start, we have uh, what seems to be a room, which has a barrier in front of it, and we can kind of turn off collision. It doesn't really work properly, but there's nothing behind this area. Uh, we also have a staircase with some uh, anti pigeon spikes on it uh, but look this staircase keeps on going up it's still going here it's even going up here a little bit as well and is there anything beyond this you know what there kind of is there, there kind of isn't why is this man not letting me brother brother look at me i am allowed in here you know that Okay, so he's let me in. So if you walk towards the toilets, this area has two points of interest, which uh, I think are kind of cool. So here's a gate which takes you to the toilets. Uh, I don't know why there'd be like a massive chain link fence to close off the toilets. Not really too sure. Maybe someone likes golden showers or something. But look, if you clip underneath, it's actually a replica of this gate. You know, perfectly underneath it, almost symmetrical. But unlike the gate on top, which has half of it open, this one below is a full gate, almost like one gate, a closed gate. Here's some locked doors. This one is interesting because it's taped off with a police line and I would assume it'd be a toilet. Anyway, look, behind this door, there is actually a room which doesn't have collision, but it's, it's a room. I don't know what else to tell you. So who knows what this was for? Maybe nothing, maybe something. So interestingly, beyond this wall, the path of the afterlife does kind of continue, or at the very least, this kind of uh, metal flooring. This keeps going. You can even walk on the club's roof. And this is really interesting. I don't know if this actually did mean something because it's like you have this ceiling above you, which is actually a real ceiling. It's almost as if there was supposed to be like a ventilation shaft or something. This place is extremely well themed. I think probably one of the best places in Cyberpunk, like by far. It's just a shame you can't actually do stuff in here. You know, I'd love to turn up to the afterlife and you can actually like sit down, have a drink, a fight breaks out. You meet up with a random fixer, it gives you this gig. And you're like, shit, is this genuine or not? And maybe it turns out to be a trap and you get molested by 10 men. That's all I'm really after. But fuck knows if that's ever going to happen. But yeah, guys, that is the afterlife behind closed doors. Uh, I hope this was interesting. And as always, if it was, feel free to leave a like on the video. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Cheers, guys, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit.